Hey, anonymous customer service guy, what kind of tutorial suggestions have you got for me? It's on the wish list. We're working on it. They're coming. Coming right up. What's up guys, Matt from Filmora, and right now I'm gonna show you a few examples of how you could use the power tool in Filmora. So I've got a few examples laid out here of how you can use the power tool. Now I'm gonna break them down for you. So you can only use the power tool with footage that is in the main timeline. There is no power tool in the picture in picture track, only the primary track, the top one. So when you click on your video in the primary track on the timeline, you will see the timeline tool show up. And the power tool is the one that looks like a shooting star or like a little magic wand. So if you click on the power tool and open it up, you will see you have three options. You have tilt shift, you have mosaic, and you have face off. Tilt shift is like a selective focus area. You'll have the inside, which will allow you to keep everything in focus. And then everything outside of that rectangular box will be blurred. With mosaic, you can create boxes that are all blurred out. Face off is a fun little tool where you can add little animated cartoon faces and it will attract to the person's face. Now I'll give you some examples of how you can use each one in your videos. So what tilt shift is referring to is it's actually a special lens and typically architectural photographers will use it to make buildings look straight. But in the last few years, tilt shift has become popular with those little miniature world time lapses that you see. So I'll show you an example here. So I've got an aerial video clip here and I'll show you how I apply the tilt shift effect to it. If you click the little checkbox next to apply tilt shift to the clip, it will add this rectangular box and you can rotate it, you can change the size of what is in focus and what's not in focus, and you can reposition it how you like. And as you can see, I have a before and after clip. In the before clip, there's no tilt shift applied and here it is with the tilt shift applied. Another example of how you could use tilt shift, it's kind of hard to read Filmora. It's kind of blending in with the white boats and the highlights, but if I go into the power tool and turn on tilt shift, it stands out a lot better. And a last example of how to use tilt shift is, I've seen a lot of people asking, how do I get that out of focus background? Typically you do that in camera when you're filming. That will depend on your camera settings and the camera you're using and the lens you're using. But here's one example where you can kind of cheat that effect a bit. Now it's best done when the tripod is still. It's on a tripod, it's not moving around, there's no panning and tilting. So in this shot, it's just a close up of a man typing at a laptop, there's no movement at all. And what I wanna do is kinda make the background look like it's a little more out of focus. And that's where I can use the tilt shift to accomplish that effect. So now you can see how I've applied the tilt shift. It's actually going vertical up and down. So anything outside of that rectangular box is out of focus. So on the left side, it's out of focus and on the right side of his face, it's out of focus. I can adjust the areas that are in focus and out of focus by grabbing the yellow edges and dragging them in or out. And if I hit OK, it'll update in the program monitor. And as you can see, before and after, it just adds a little more of that out of focus background. This is a great way to narrow your audience's focus on one particular thing. If there's something distracting in the shot, you could always use a tilt shift to blur out that distracting object so you can have your audience focusing on a specific object in the shot. So moving on to the mosaic effect in the power tool. So what I want to do in this clip is blur out the license plate. So you've seen examples where maybe a logo or a brand is blurred out or a face is blurred out or sometimes license plates get blurred out. This can be used in cases where you want to protect yourself from any legal problems. So in order to add a mosaic, I click the little checkbox next to apply mosaic to the clip and then I hit add and that will give me a new mosaic box in the middle of the video clip and I can move around and resize that and place it over the area that I want to blur out. And then there's the little percentage slider and I can slide that from left to right and that will increase or decrease the amount of mosaic blocks. So you can see I'm resizing it to fit over the license plate here and now it's blurred out and you can't read the license plate. So just a side note, you can add up to 10 mosaic blocks in this effect. So the last effect in the power tool is face off now, one cool thing about this is you can add, you can do the same thing as mosaic, but instead, this effect is looking for is a face. So it's recognizing eyes and mouth and nose. It's best used when the person's looking directly at the camera. 
and you can actually apply a mosaic to this one and it will follow that person's face around a little bit. So as you can see, here's a before and after. And there's a few different cartoon faces if you want to get a little goofy and apply a funny cartoon face to one of your friends. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any other tutorial suggestions, then I'd love to hear them, so please leave them in the comment section down below.